Good morning, everybody. This is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy. And today I want to talk a little bit about uh, troubleshooting WinRM. Now, one of the things that's pretty cool uh, in um, you know, on Windows 10, you know, Windows 8.1, you know, even Windows 7, uh, using Windows PowerShell, is the remote remoting technology that we have. And this works out really cool uh, because this allows me to run commands on different machines and stuff. The problem is, is that sometimes there may be problems or issues with uh, getting, um, you know, WinRM to work. And um, we've uh, added some stuff into the event log, so I can go into the event log, um, and there is a, a diagnostic log. I go to. Um, you know, the applications and services, Microsoft, Windows, and um, I scroll on down until I find the um, remote management uh, log. And um, let's go on down here, la 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 la, Windows, 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 remote management, and then the operational log. And so then I can go through here and I can look through and see if there's problems or issues or something like this. Uh, so so this, uh, this log uh, gives us a lot of good information. There will be errors in here um, if there were problems or not. Now, the thing is, you know, the clicking on this log is uh, kind of, well, uh, it's a lot of clicking. I mean, you know, you go click, 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 you know, and um, it's a bit slow and all of that. So one of the things that I can do, of course, is I can use get one event. So I can say get one event, and um, then I, if I'm not sure of the log name uh, that I was looking at, then I can say list log and uh, scroll through and find the different logs. Now, um, I didn't open my PowerShell console with admin rights, and um, so that's why I'm getting a few of these errors here. It seems that about half, or maybe a little bit more than half, of uh, the things I try to do in Windows PowerShell, they're always wanting some type of elevation. Unfortunately, we don't always know uh, when that elevation is going to take place. Uh, so I look through all of these logs and um, I can you know, see some different stuff and um, if I come on down now I was in Microsoft Windows Windows Remote Management and um, so um, maybe like I can do a, a query you know list log and say star Windows um, dash Windows um, star and um, Come back here, and we see there was uh, Microsoft Windows, Windows Defender, uh, you know, Windows, Windows Firewall, uh, Windows, Windows Backup. Um, dude, I'm not seeing the remote management. So if I go back over here, and uh, this time I can pipe this to more, and um, then uh, we can see that there's some logs as we're um, scrolling down through here and uh, maybe we can find it and um, yeah this way uh, I can also come back and change my wildcard a little bit to look for something that might have win or M on it and uh, press on it and then we can see it's Microsoft Windows win or M operational now this is uh, the reason I went through all of this is because this is actually a bit annoying. Uh, so a lot of times the logs that we actually see in the event viewer uh, have the same name uh, that we have here. Here, for whatever reason, the name that's showing up in Event Viewer and the name that's showing up here under the log has been di is different. Now, it, was, it should have been like Windows Windows because that was the path we navigated down, but they've uh, they've changed that and it's uh, WinRM you know, instead of Remote Management. So. Um, you know, a lot of times the stuff in Windows PowerShell, the names are the same as the name. Uh, in this particular case, it's not. So that's just why I'm, you know, trying to go through this. Um, the thing that's actually a bit um, squirrely here uh, is that you would think that they made the change to uh, make it easier to deal with, but unfortunately, by changing the name, it actually made it harder to find. So one of the things I like to do first of all is to come over and to um, clear, um, you know, clear the event log. Now we have uh, some stuff that allows me uh, to. Um, 
with uh, in the commandlets, uh, we have some things that allow me to um, you know work with logs, uh, the traditional logs, but we don't really have that much other than get one event that lets me deal with the um, well, I hate to use the term modern logs because, dude, they was invented all the way back in, like Windows Vista, you know, the ETL logs. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have anything, but luckily, uh, we actually have uh, wvtutil.exe. And so this allows me then to find my log and then to, uh, to actually clear it. That's what the dash CL there does. And so I press this. And it doesn't clear because I'm not in an elevated uh, PowerShell prompt. So um, I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to on Windows 10. All I have to do is to right-click, and then I can say Run as Administrator, and then it pops up, whines, and then I say Groovy Groovy. And um, so I like to change back over here to the root uh, so that I've got room. Paste my command, and now we go through, and we've actually cleared the event log. And um, so now the the next thing uh, we may want to do is to um, to kind of double check uh, the log. And uh, so uh, I'm going to list my log now, and I'm going to say, "Hey, show me all of the stuff uh, that I've got." So that's what format list does. We come back over here. We can see the size of it, the number of events, uh, which has been cleared now. Is it enabled? Yes. That's what we want to make sure is that it's actually enabled. And um, so, uh, so once we do this, um, then uh, we find that out. The other thing I can do, of course, is I can actually check to see if it's actually enabled itself, just the property itself. And to do that, uh, what I do is um, I do my query for the log, and then I can just pick out this exact property is enabled, uh, where we see up here uh, that it was um, is enabled right there that's a property off of that object well here I can just you know run the command directly and when I do that it comes back and says trim so we've uh, found the event log uh, that we need uh, we've cleared it out so that um, uh, so that we can do this uh, we check to make sure that the log is enabled and um, so then the next thing that we would, would want to do of course then is to um, Run some commands um, and uh, see if um, there are problems or issues, you know, to recreate the uh, situation, if you will. And uh, we'll do that tomorrow. So uh, this is Ed Wilson. I'm the Microsoft scripting guy. And uh, this is uh, the first part of troubleshooting uh, Windows uh, remote management. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.